Welcome to the exciting world of construction scheduling and cost scheduling, also known as 4D and 5D in the realm of BIM. But because there are no standard definitions, everyone has come up with their own ideas. It's like dimensions have gone rogue. For now, let's just talk about 4D. And it's not about time information or fancy animations. It's a lot more than that. Let's dive in and give you some guidance on what you should be expecting. In the scene properties, Scroll down until you find the IFC Costing and Scheduling subpanel. There you'll find another subpanel called IFC Work Schedules. Here we see we have two work schedules in this file, but we only see one. The reason for that is when we click on Enable Editing Tasks, we'll notice we have a Baselines operator that will show us the baselines that have been created for this schedule. Expanding all this here, we can find a list of tasks and subtasks, which will form what we call the work breakdown structure. You can toggle this hierarchy by pressing on the triangles. By default, this task tree will show the identification and also the task name. We can add a lot more information, so let's display that. To better visualize time-related data, we'll add the default columns, which show the schedule start, schedule finish, and the schedule duration. Of course, you can show more information about your task, but for now, let's just keep it simple. Let's press on schedule columns again. Let's talk about the relationship between design and construction data. A task is a process that takes in inputs and resources to produce an output. To find out which objects are linked to a specific task, look no further than the subpanel named IFC task, ICOM under the task tree. Simply click on a task and it will display any inputs, resources or outputs that are assigned to this task. Here, we can peek into all the objects that have been assigned to this Relief d'étanchéité bicouche. We can select individual items or select the whole items that have been assigned. Isn't it amazing when you connect BIM data? Now what if we want to do the same thing through the viewport? Click on this waterproofing here, and then with your mouse in the viewport, press N, which will bring up the side menu, and here go to the 4D and 5D toolkit. You can then press on Load Tasks, and this tells us that this waterproofing has been assigned to two tasks. Coincidentally, they have the same name because we have our original schedule and the baseline we were talking about. But since we have an active schedule here, Let's filter by our active schedule. Then we'll press on highlight the task and this will highlight the task that has been assigned to that object. Here we can tell that this waterproofing was meant to be built on the 14th of February 2023 and it's a five day duration. We can inspect further information about the task such as its predecessors or its successors and what type of relationship it is, whether it's a finish to start, if we have lag times, etc. We can look at the time information here, such as the early starts, finish late starts. We can tell whether this is a critical task or not, and it seems to be. So we can also do something else with these tasks. We can generate a Gantt chart. And here we go, we have a really nice schedule that's ready to be printed. There is a lot more to be covered, especially we haven't spoken about resources or inputs and how they relate to tasks. But don't you worry, we'll cover that in the 4D part of this course later on. So stay tuned. Let's carry on with cost scheduling in Blender BIM. Head on over to the scene properties, locate the IFC costing and scheduling subpanel and expand your IFC cost schedules. Make this bigger because we're gonna need some room. Press on Enable Editing Cost Items on our third cost schedule. This will bring up a cost breakdown structure similar to our work breakdown structure and each cost item in this tree will have a quantity, a price and a total value. Quantities can be manually input or derived from a model element. You can select all the objects that are assigned to a cost item by pressing on Select Objects here. You can also select individual items. 
a cost item may have a manual quantity. Let's demonstrate that. Press on edit, then we'll add a IFC quantity area. And that is now a 40 square meter quantity assigned to this cost item. We'll also give it a price of 30. That's fine. And we'll add that value. And here we see we can figure out the total. We can also add a project currency by pressing on project currency. And let's add the dirhams. Yes, here we go. But what if we're now navigating and would like to see if an object has been assigned to a given cost item. For this, we need to be in our 4D 5D toolkit, expand the 5D tools, and click on Get Product Cost Assignments. Here we see it's part of two cost items. This first cost item here, with a total quantity of 182 square meters, this only represents 17 square meters, so proportionally you can figure out the cost of your object but the total cost of the cost item is 9000 and this obviously takes all the coverings which are painting or rendering that's it for now we'll dive in deeper when we create our own cost schedule